So it looks like King and Corey, maybe Nick and Carmen are getting back together. Chris Sells gets robbed. And Corey is leaving the Carmen and Corey channel. So let's get straight into the drama. Let's go on to Carmen, Corey, and Nick. Okay, so King obviously made a video recently hanging out with Corey. Let me do that. that one thing, one thing about that comment, one thing about that brush, that brush will give you more. Like a, a, a you 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 can you, you can always look like every single pop. It's gonna stand out. I think I ain't gonna count. I ain't gonna count. I think I'm breaking. I'm like. Really doing anyway, a lot of people had a lot of things to say. Here's what they said in the comments. I feel like everyone's coming back together. I personally feel like y'all can forgive from a distance and move on, but trying to rekindle a friendship after all that weird stuff that happened would be weird to me. Like, you done slapped the old girl and everything. Yes, I'm so proud of them. Like, what happened? That's just some childish stuff, and it's really good for them to reunite because I miss the old King and Corey. They were great together. But not all was good. Cause King got dragged. They said, The person you should be apologizing to is Carmen. She's the one facing the backlash and the hate. You apologize to everyone except the one person you should sincerely apologize to. I feel like this was needed, but Carmen's apology was a priority. That's cool that you're cool with Carmen, but Carmen was the one who lost the friend and got bashed over a lie. Glad you're cool with everyone, but you need to get right with Carmen and I think all the other people want Nick and Carmen cool. We don't accept anyone to go back to being buddy buddy, but y'all cool and leave. I would lay on the real mind handle their problems and that's what happened. They're all anyone can do is respect it. Okay. You women Nick and Carmen's friendship. Apologize to Carmen, not Carmen. Oh my god, I want to see Ken publicly apologize to Carmen because she's gonna drag on social media for something he did. So this ain't enough. I think he did apologize on his documentary, but it was like a blanket apology. It wasn't like a real apology. By the way, guys, I made a video that you should go check out. It's in my vlog channel. Link in the description below. And recently, Nick uploaded a video. She said, A lot of people read in my comments asking me to react to um, Carmen's documentary. I don't know if I want to react to it yet. I haven't watched it. I just don't know if that's something that I want to touch. But if y'all want me to touch it, comment down below. And I might, because... I know. <laughs> and that's from Carmen sharing her side on the documentary, how she felt about the whole situation that happened and how everyone has moved on really, but she hasn't been apologized to properly. It's quite a sad situation to be in and I kind of understand why she didn't want to tell Nick because of Nick's personality and how she handles situations and because she was scared to lose a friendship. But hey, at the same time, Oh, she could have just made it easy and just tell her. I don't know. The situation is so sticky. But I guess we might hear Neek's side when she watches the documentary again. I'm, I'm so over this storyline, bro. I've said, I made so many videos on this situation. Full stop. The end. No more. Also in the news, someone went into Chris Hell's house and stole $5, guys. He was saving up $5 and someone stole that. Huh? <laughs> someone stole $50K from his house. But with all the strangers in letting him in this house, damn, you gotta be careful these days because you don't know who to trust. Just gotta be careful or get a safe. You know, that is the best thing to do, get a safe. But apparently it was someone that he trusted. I'm curious who it is, but it's probably a made up story. I don't know at this point. It's Chris Sales. Let's move on. Corey ends up leaving the Carmen and Corey channel and some people are speculating due to this situation. He made a video pranking Carmen that he thought he was not the father of the child. Now this was around I believe 5th of March. But it, you, but it's just, it, you, can under, you should be able to understand why I'm questioning you. There's no way you should be able to understand why I'm questioning you. Yeah, like it was like you could have CJ. Alright, you know what? You're not gonna understand. Okay, then get out. God bless. See you later. Why are you acting like that though? Why you I don't have any and you started with your boots. They oh, have. Oh. Of course it's boots. Because you could have been asked this whole time. Now you want to act with a camera in my face. Get out. And I. Oh. Then either the 6th or the 7th of March, Carmen ended up making this video where she was rushed to hospital. Nothing, but guys, uh, Court is currently out of town. He left, I believe, Friday. Today's Sunday, March 7th. And I just woke up like at 10, 40 something, me and CJ. And I noticed, guys, that I felt like I was wet. So I came to the bathroom and 
I'm literally bleeding. I'm bleeding, guys, and I just don't understand. So I texted my mom-in-law and my mom, and they was like, go to the doctor now. So I'm just waiting on Allie to get here so she can watch CJ while I go to the doctor. I'm very scared because I don't... I just don't want, you know? She ends up explaining to Corey what happened. And that's not normal. It's not blood. Yeah, I sent a picture to your mom, and she was like, go to the doctor now. Okay. Uh, go ahead, go. And they call me. Okay, I'll let you know since they tell me so. Alright. Alright. End up being good news though because the doctor told her the baby is okay. The baby is okay, guys. I'm happy, which means if I bleed like this again, and outside the team, it can be a miscarriage. She told me not to lift things up, not to be screaming, not to work myself up. I need to follow up with my doctor, follow with my real doctor. Now, a lot of people were not happy with Corey and came for him in the comments. They said he was called to her and that at a time like this, he should not be traveling, but blessing to you and your family. I feel like Corey should be by her side more like if he want to have this baby, he need to be around and talk and take care of his baby mama while she's pregnant. Shaking my head, my man could never. He'd be at home taking care of me while I'm pregnant. Prayers for your baby girl. Hope all is well. Felt like Corey was very cold towards her. Bless her. That's not nice going through that. I feel like Corey shouldn't be traveling because he knows you pregnant. Period. Corey shouldn't be going out with the out of the town when you're going through this. I love y'all though, but he should be there because you got a baby what? CJ and take care of <laughs> oh, You need to learn how to spell. Stay resting and tell your husband no crazy pranks to get you everyone. Well, I can't talk, y'all. My spelling's bad, but these people have no full stops. Now, while Carmen is, you know, shouldn't be stressed, people start criticizing her very hard in the comments, saying documenting a possible D for a revenue on YouTube. No better way to get over a miscarriage than to profit off it on YouTube. Bro, you shouldn't post your whole life on YouTube. What? I guess these morons forgot what vloggers do and what people do on YouTube, but hey, it's them. You're a moron. They be having amnesia. Now, I'm not sure if it's because of all the criticism, but Corey ended up going on Twitter saying, I had to start a step away from Carmen and Kari YouTube channel. Time to start a new journey in my life. It's been amazing and dope. Thanks for all the love and support. No nothing going on with me and Carmen. Just feel like it's not for me no more. I grew out of it. And I think he's been feeling this way for a while, even Carmen. He ended up reposting this on Instagram with the caption saying, Sometimes you understand that in life you're going to grow out of things. When I jump in this game and come in for competition, I came in with the passion for it. But I personally feel that couple channels are way waterless. Waterless? What? Waterless down now. Oh, capital channels are waterless down now. 100. But the journey was dope and life changing. Thanks for the love and the support again. On to the next mission. He then tweeted on Twitter, I'll be on my life and Kari channel though with the new content, fun and motivational videos. That an individual decided to share a tape of Carmen's tape when she was under age. Now, we've done so many videos on this. It's so weird that people still bring up this tape knowing that she's underage. She has even spoken about this. So it's really gross that people are basically sharing child pee. And also, to be fair, some people are just, I guess, new to social media and they think it's Corey in the tape and it's recent. No! I'm like, y'all really... How do you know about them but not know about this tape? Like, it's so old. Um. Um, chill. Anyway, the next day he's tweeting about how he's going back to being like private. He doesn't live on social media anymore. And people were going off on him saying stuff like, Corey, we really don't care. Just go. We don't like you anyways. You put on comments through so much ish. Now you're complaining. I can't stand you. You literally act like a child. You say you're immature, blah, blah, blah. No matter you're horrible. Once again, comments pregnant and he pulling some weird ish. Okay, bye. Then it's that easy for you to give up. Then that means you can't remember why you started in the first place. Some people assumed that it was the tape or the prank. Then Carmen expressed that she was hurt, which people speculated more. Corey ends up saying, It's still crazy how people just assume it. I wonder how people would react if we just pull out the proof that everything they are doing was wrong. Just keep the same energy. These fans retarded. I, I, 
I try to stay out of the way and everybody's always bring it to me and when, when I react, I'm the bad guy. I'm so tired of that shit and man, this is why I'm going back to private 100. <laughs> Okay. He then responds to some of his fans saying that he felt horrible and that he doesn't seem happy with his supporters because they keep assuming stuff. He ended up going on his IG story complaining more and expressing how he felt. Like bro, what the f***? Just really wish y'all can really see the sh I have to deal with, dog. Like, I'm so f pissed off right now. I can't even just relax my f mind. mind. Oh, and I hate social media because y'all sit and y'all look at the, the, the other sh Bro, I swear to God, bro. Bro, I swear to God, bro. I really hate this shit on my soul. I can die today, but I hate this shit, But I hate being manipulated and being look like I'm, I done someone. Y'all true story behind shit. Like, this shit is so fucking, it blowing me at this point. Hey, man, I'm going to get off that bit, but listen. This is my last time posting. I probably gonna post on every weekend. I don't even cap. Instead of y'all feeding negativity to Carmen, y'all y'all always act like so worried about her. Y'all so concerned about her, bro. If y'all so concerned about her, bro, stop filling her head with negativity. Like that, that's the problem. I feel like y'all the problem, and she just can't help but look at it because she full of hormones. That she just on her phone, so she just so happy to see y'all messages. So send her some love, bro. Y'all keep sending her negative. Sh and it just put that negative like thought in her head. True, that would make it ten times worse. See her some love, bro. In a nutshell, the fans are upset because Carmen was in a very scary situation, and Corey should have been more responsible and flown over back to his wife. Yes, his dad's birthday is important because apparently he went to Miami to his dad's birthday or Alabama. His business is important, but at the same time, he is self-employed. He has that opportunity to fly back. Like this is a serious situation. You have a wife who's pregnant. She's going through a sensitive situation with her hormones or whatever and then she had that scary situation and you're not even there to support her and help her and it is really important as a man you should be there for her what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below some people don't have that opportunity to be there with their wives and if you do have that opportunity which he does i think he should be there on the flip coin though i do feel like Look, I'm not making excuses, but some men are really stupid and they don't realize how serious the situation is. I feel if Carmen did say to Corey, hey, this is serious, come home, I feel like he probably would have came home. But she did not say that at all. And I do feel that sometimes women should be direct with their man and be like, hey, this is really serious, please come home. Not be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That could be the situation as well. And people will always bring up the past because you continue to repeat the past and the mistakes that you have done because you refuse to take like proper accountability and grow from the situation so I guess and you know plus you're putting your business out on social media so I guess he's digged himself in a hole y'all all I gotta say to future social media influencers out there if you want to have a good social media healthy type of lifestyle make sure you are fixed as a person because if you come to social media with all these issues it's gonna be a massive reflection because they are now going to be more in the spotlight people are gonna bring them up a a lot more and you're not going to be able to handle it because you didn't take you know the accountability to fix yourself or to take counseling or do those little things so that's just a heads up to future social media influencers because a lot of y'all are dirty as hell nasty as hell want to come on social media be an influencer and then all your dirtiness just comes to the light and you don't look good the way i explained that didn't make sense but you know what i mean <laughs>